In Creo Parametric, you can create tables in drawings and formats. Here I have a D size format that I am working on. I wanted to have a revision table in the upper right hand corner. So to create my table, you can go to the table tab and then you have your table drop down command and two different ways that you can start off the table here. You can choose insert table and that will open up the table properties dialog box to start off with, but I like to use the grid. Let me cancel out of here, then I'll go to the table drop down menu and I know that I want five columns and three rows, so I'll drag out so five by three is highlighted. Then I will click with my left mouse button and then just drop my table approximately on the sheet. And I want this to be in the upper right hand corner. You can move the table, you can select it and then grab the drag locations. And I find that just zooming in a lot and eyeballing it is good enough for my purposes. So let me zoom in some more and drag it closer in there. And eventually you get zoomed in so much it really doesn't matter if it's not exactly on there because of the zoom. So anyhow, now that I have the table started, I'm going to define its properties. I'm going to select a cell in the table and then you can choose select table. And then to the right of that, we have the properties. And in the properties dialog box for the direction, I'm going to have this go from the top right and down. That's the table growth direction. That way, when I resize the different columns, that is the anchor point. It always stay locked into where the upper right hand corner is. And then we have some row default heights and information for the default widths. I'm going to change those manually. Let me hit the check mark over here. And now let me start off by setting the justification. That's what I like to do next. So I know that three of my columns I want to have center justified. So I'm going to move my mouse to one of the cells and then tap the right mouse button. Here I have the row. Tap right once more. Now I've got the column and I can left click on it. And then from the textile command, you click on that, you can set your justification. So I want this center middle. And then let me click the OK button. And now I'm just going to have to repeat that three more times. Select this, textile, and then center and middle. And then OK. And then tap right a couple times and then left click to select it textile center middle and one last time tap right a couple times left click and textile center middle maybe there's a faster way if there is I don't know it okay now let's do the column widths next so I will select my column and then I can right mouse click and hold and here we have the width command and that first column there that's going to be for the zone for the different changes here we have the width in our drawing units I want this to be half an inch wide and so I'll type in the number and then click the OK button by the way my drawing is in inches if you go to your file menu and then prepare and drawing properties this will open up the properties dialog box here I'm going to click on the change button there are a whole bunch of different options in here if you scroll down to the miscellaneous options here we have our drawing units and it is in inches all right let me close out of those dialog boxes for the second column let me tap right a couple times in order to select it and then hold down the right mouse button and go to width and this one is going to be a little bit narrower. Let's make it three eighths of an inch. And then I will click the OK button. By the way, I am in format mode right now. I have a format open. If you're doing this in drawing mode, then when you select the column from the mini toolbar, you will have a menu that allows you to change the width of a table column but I'm doing it from the right mouse button because I am in a different mode. And this is going to be my widest column over here. I'm going to make this five inches wide. So let me enter five and then click the OK button. And you'll notice again, it's growing to the left. 
based on when I set the properties that it would grow down and to the left because the upper right hand corner was anchored. All right, let's see, let's go to this column and then select it, right mouse click and go to width. This one is going to be 787 inch, 0.875 and click the OK button. And my last column is going to be one inch wide, select it, right mouse click and hold and go to width. And let's just change that to 1.0 and then click the OK button. All right, so that is good for my widths. Now for the heights, the first two, I want to change those to quarter inch. So I tapped right in order to select the row and then right mouse click and hold. And let's go to height. And for this one, I'm going to turn off the automatic height adjustment. I want this to be 0.25 and then click the OK button. And then let's repeat that. Tap right, left click to select right mouse button to get to the width command or to the height command and once again if i was doing this in drawing mode you would have an icon for adjusting the height in the mini toolbar but i don't so let's uncheck the automatic height adjustment this one is going to be 0.25 and then for my last one i'm going to make it slightly taller than its current value tapping right to select right mouse click height uncheck I want this to be 0.375. That's good. All right, now that I'm done setting up my table, I want this top row to be a single cell. So you can use the merge cells command for that. So I'll select one. By the way, in the bottom of the screen in the message area, it's prompted me to pick another table cell. Here's one thing that you need to know. You're going to hold down the control key. Might not be obvious, but hold down control in order to select the cells. And now we have one big giant cell. I'm going to use the middle mouse button to close the menu manager, uh, get out of merge cells mode. And now I can fill in the text that I want in the cell. I will double click on it and let's change this. I'm going to use revisions as the text in the cell. And then I'm going to left click uh, on the background of the screen. That allows me to change the formatting. And so in this case, I want to change the font. I'm going to use CG Triumvirate Bold. I like the sound of that. And let's just go with CG Triumvirate. That bold is a little too much for me. And you can also make other changes like to the height. In this case over here, I'm going to make this slightly smaller, 0.125 and hit the enter key and I like the way that that looks all right let's see for this cell over here this is going to have the text text zone in it and again I'll left click so I can go into the formatting options and let's change this one as well to CG triumvirate and I'm gonna make this point one as the height and that's good let me zoom in a little bit more for you Double click in this cell and this is going to be the revision letter and left click on the background and now I'll go to some different editing, CG triumvirate and point one. And then this wide cell over here, this is going to be description. And I want the rest of the text to be left justified. So I'm just going to change this one individual cell to be middle justified and then once again change my font and change the height and then in this one we're going to have the date left click on the background let's edit some font and height and then in my last cell this is going to be the name of the approver and once again, let's change the font and the height. All right, and so there I have my table set up. It is created and people can use this for tracking the revisions on a drawing. Last thing to show you, let's say I want to use this table again over and over. Well, I can save this out. So let me select the table and actually let me 
Tap the right mouse button to select the entire table. If you tap it a few times, that will select the entire table. Otherwise, you could use the select table command. Here we have the save table commands. If you choose save table, this will save it out as a .tbl file that you can use over and over again. So I'll choose to save the table and I'll call this my revisions table and then click the save button. So that's how you can manually create a table and then save it for reuse later on.